welcome to London where it's a very typical rainy chilly summer Saturday but today it is chatter day. We are doing an iconic London thing to do of that afternoon tea but at a cat cafe. I cannot wait to get some cat cuddles and some tea and scones. Upon entering the cafe, let the barista know you have a reservation. Because this is a quite popular experience and afternoon tea is only served on the weekends, reservations tend to book up at least a week in advance. If you'd rather just have coffee and some kitten cuddles, then make a reservation for any day to have coffee or tea in the cat or kitten lounge. The kitten lounge is home to about a dozen kittens and a mom or two and could not be a cuter place to enjoy a coffee and scone. But today, we're here for afternoon tea. For the tea service, the barista asks us to choose between hot or cold, coffee and tea, and then which kind of tea. We both went for a classic pot of Earl Grey. We were brought into a sort of transitional room where we removed our coats and shoes, washed our hands, and were briefed on the rules and what to expect. The three main rules, don't pick up the cats, don't feed the cats your food, and don't let them slip out of the door when you leave. From the transition room, we were taken into the cafe with at least a dozen adorable cats and each given a table. While you're allocated a specific table to sit down and enjoy your tea, everyone is encouraged to roam around and get to know, play with, and pet the cats during the tea service. The cats roam freely so you're never far from a furry friend as they come and go as they please. It's the cats that choose how much interaction they wish to have. If they'd rather just watch you, they'll jump up on a perch and observe you far away from human touch. If they're just over the attention altogether, they actually have a tunnel they can escape through to get into a cozy private room completely away from everyone. If the cats seem curious, there are plenty of toys throughout the cafe to encourage a bit of playtime. And if they want your chair, well, it's their world, you're just visiting it. Just watch your food and make sure they don't try to sneak a bite as they're at your table. Speaking of cats and food, one of the cutest moments was mealtime. The employees brought out a bowl of wet food for each cat at the same time and it was the cutest feeding frenzy you've ever seen. Even the sleepiest of cats woke up for a quick snack. As for the snacks for humans, the tea service was served shortly after being seated, quickly followed by the three-tiered tray of traditional tea time goodies. Finger sandwiches, scones, and sweets. The Madelines were absolutely the star of the show and we ended up finishing everything served to us and left full and satisfied with both the tea service and the amount of cat interactions. The beauty of Java Whiskers is that if you meet a cat you absolutely fall in love with, you can leave with more than just a full stomach and a camera roll full of cute cat photos. All of the cats at Java Whiskers are up for adoption. Unlike cat cafes that simply have resident cats that exist there essentially forever, these cats are rescues looking for a forever home. So if you have a special bond with one of the cats and believe you'd make a great home for them, you can apply to adopt them. Of course, the process is probably a little more complicated than what we've explained, but you can talk to the staff about adoption. You can tell how much the cats love the staff and how much the staff love them. The cats would follow them around and snuggle against them. It was so cute and heartwarming. A few staff members even told us they've even either already adopted a cat from the cafe or are currently in the adoption process. If you want an afternoon tea that's a little less posh and a little more fresh, 10 out of 10 would recommend Java Whiskers Cat Cafe. The food was so good, the service was awesome, and they really, really cared for their cats. 